Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be setting up for some comebacks, new collections, um, working on some other collections, like basically just reorganizing my binders to fit it the way I want it to fit. So, yes, I have all of these fillers made uh, for the comebacks that are happening and for the new collection I'm gonna start. And I have an entire list of things that I wanna do. So, I think we're just gonna have to get started because otherwise this video will be like hours long so we're gonna get started with the first thing on my list which is the Espa comeback so let's get on with that so here we have uh, my binder uh, with Espa and they are releasing their second mini album somewhere in July um, it's like maybe the 5th or the 7th or the 2nd. I've seen so many comeback dates in June or July that I don't even remember uh, when what comeback is happening. But I know it's at the start of July. I was gonna host a group order for it, but um, with all of the other groups having comebacks like Itzy. And I want and for Itzy I want to host group orders for like every store that I can. So that's gonna be a lot of work. I want those group orders for Kepler and for WJSN. So I've decided that for Espa it isn't a big priority for me to host a group order. So I just decided not to. But I do want to get their um, albums for this um, comeback. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna pre-order them or if I'm just gonna order them later on. But I do have the filler. So we have the real world version. The normal PC and the Polaroid. When I'm filming this, there isn't like uh, album details out. The only thing uh, I can base this on is the details that k View has on their website. At least that's the website I looked at. Probably other websites also have this uh, information, but they don't have like that share with all of the album versions and stuff like that. As I'm as always very late with that, so I don't, I'm not sure if like the Polaroid and the character uh, PC are like actual uh, photo card size but i'm just gonna put them in like this and i will see um later on how big they are so for the kongya version we have the uh, normal photo card and then we have a character photo card and then we have the digipack um like photo card there's just one per member i believe so this is gonna be lonely at the back so i believe I think there's like one more like an international digi pack, but that's already sold out everywhere. So um just gonna put fillers in here. I believe this is everything that is still available. And I will just see how this is gonna go. I am very excited for their comeback. Like it's called Girls, and honestly, that's already enough to make me excited. But they also released uh, a song of the album, uh, Illusion. And honestly. It's a vibe. I love it so much, honestly. I'm so excited to see what their like title track will be like. So let's go. So we just did Espa and now we're gonna go on to the big binder because um, this is like my miscellaneous group binder and a lot of groups in here, quite some groups in here have, are having a comeback. So let's get started. The first group is WJSN and oh my God, I'm so excited for this comeback. I've been listening to WJS and like non-stop for the past few weeks and I just love their music so much. I don't think I've shown this like in my last storing photo cards video. I I think I did talk about it and I added it saying that I changed my mind on downsizing uh, to two members. I'm currently collecting three members. Let me see if I can. Okay, so over here I'm collecting Yoram, Dayang and Yongjong. So I also have the Subin because Yang Jung doesn't have a uh, photo card for this era because she wasn't there for that era. But I really love this setup. Like it works works out perfectly and it also works out perfectly for their comeback, which is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna grab two pages like this. And it's called sequence. So every girl has four cards. And you get uh, two cards in a album. So, uh, and there are three album versions. There's like one full group version and then two uh, unit versions. So um, I'm a bit surprised. Like, um, 
also not sure like i i am guessing they put five girls in one and five girls in the other but does that mean that you can only pull the photo cards of that five girls that are in that unit album or can you pull all ten of them like questions like make it make sense like please so we'll just have to wait and see for this like i said i am hosting a small group order because i don't want to get too much on my plate like knowing that itsy will go crazy with all of the um pre benefits and fan sign uh video calls stuff like that so yes so we just have the first three uh photo cards there aren't really versions at the moment but when the photo cards will come out i will uh, put the versions i prefer next to each other so we just have yoram dayong and yongjong and then for the second page i have the uh, fourth normal photo card um from like the normal album version and they also have a jewel case version there's one jewel case per member and i really hope that they actually have like a member cover instead of what like treasure did where they just have their name on it and i really did not like that so this makes like a very weird page layout so i'm ordering my albums from kate and for you so i'm i will have those three pre-order benefits even though i don't really collect pre-order benefits i really like the way that it fill, uh, fills up this page so we're gonna do that and need some fillers i did not want to make fillers for every single girl like honestly that's just a waste of paper because like this i just know where it's supposed to go so yes and then we have the units because for this album they also did units so we have the neverland units here and then the unnatural units and i will put the uh, sequence units down here so i'll just have one unit per member like i did here and um yes that will fill up the unit page and honestly i think this will be very cute and i cannot wait to see all of this filled out also this is like a single album i believe so there are four songs on there and aura is also on there that was their queendom song but it's only on the cd and it's like the ot10 version so very excited to hear that and there are like two full group songs uh sequence being the i believe it's called sequence wait let me check okay so there are four songs like i said and this last sequence which is the title track and then you also have done which is the second track and then aura and then lastly we have stronger which is sung by dawan and yongjong and oh my god guys i'm very excited about all of these songs but also like that duo song I'm ready for it. Okay. That was WJSN. And let's go on to Kepler. Because guys, when I'm filming this, it's June 20th. Which means it's comeback day for uh, Kepler and for Luna. And it's the debut day for Lapilus. Is that the way you're supposed to pronounce it? I'm not sure. It's the group uh, with Shana in it from uh, Girls Planet 999. And oh my god, y'all. I did not expect that song to go that hard. Like, oh my god. But oh well, Kepler. We have Kepler here. And for this comeback for uh, Do You Blast, I've decided to just collect Youngun. Like, for first impact, I collected my top three and some OT9 sets. But I found out that the normal album cards, like, it fills up a nine pocket page perfectly. So. Um, I also put them already in the order I wanted them in. So let's put them in. We have two versions. We have the Lemon Blast and we have like a normal like photo book version. And then we also have a jewel case version because these cable companies just want money, which I, I get because that's their thing. But this is, go this is just getting out of hand. So I have the Lemon Blast jewel case card uh, the first one here then the photo book first card there and then we get the second card for the jewel case for the lemon blast and then i have the blue blast 
normal photo card. And then they, one of the versions comes with a clear card. And then the other version comes with like a clear frame. Which I will probably also put around one of these uh, photo cards. But um, I did not make a spot for it because it's a frame. But I did make a spot for the clear photo card. And here we have the less lemon blast filler. Okay, so the way I set this up. This can all change, by the way. If I don't like the uh, photo cards laid out like this, when I actually get the cards, this will change. But for now, I have the uh, four jewel case cards in the corners and then the four photo book cards in the middle and then the clear photo card in the, mid uh, in the actual middle, like I said. So this is the setup for right now. And I just have to wait and see um, if the photo cards work with this setup. So, yes. Then... I've also decided I was missing two uh, pre-order benefits slash lucky draw from First Impact. And I've decided that I'm not going to look for those anymore. For these others, I have all of them on the way. So for now, I will just keep them. And maybe at one point I will downsize. I'm not sure yet. For now, I really like these pages because they fit like perfectly with the outfit. So I'm fine with them for now. But I did decide that for... Um, do you blast? I'm just gonna collect a nine pocket of uh, pure benefits slash fanzine cards and stuff like that. So for K Town for you and for Make Star, I'm hosting my own group orders, so I know for sure that I have these on the way. Then for the others, I joined uh, from a group order manager on Instagram, but they sadly had to cut down on some sets because um, they had to cover a lot themselves, and honestly. As a group order manager myself, that can get very expensive, like very quickly. So they had to cut down on all of these. But I, luckily enough, I only got cut down on Sonara. So I don't have this on the way, which I get. I totally get. I'm not even mad about it. So I do have the Yes24 pre-order benefit still claimed. And the Aladdin and the Star River POBs. So... I still need like four more and I'm gonna get a black filler. Just like with WJSN, um, I didn't want to take too much on my plate. So I just did two group orders for the two stores that I know, uh, like I know best to not make me too uncomfortable with stuff. And if one of these does like maybe a second round of pre-order benefits, maybe I'll do a uh, another group order. But... We just have to wait and see. So for now, this is my setup for Kepler. So I'm just gonna collect one nine pocket, and that's it. And then we have Luna. Luna also had their comeback today, and guys, flip that. It's a bop. Is it also called Flip That? Is the song? I know the album is. Yeah. So the song is also called Flip That, and I've listened to all of these songs, but. They didn't stuck with me except for Need You. Like, that song is amazing. I love that so much. Okay, Luna. So, I... I've been struggling with my Luna setup for so long. Because it just does not make sense that they have four versions. And that every version has three cards. With, it's just... It does not... It, it's messing with my head. Let's just say it like that. So at first I had end. Like midnight ends here. Like it does now. And I have had end start here. So it would be one row lower. But then I had like one random um, row of period of benefits, orbit, card. I don't even know what was there. But then I decided that I'm just gonna start end at the end of midnight. Oh my god guys. Why did I call there? Their albums like that. But okay. So uh, we have four versions for ends. And then I decided to collect her two uh, Japanese cards. So I have one of them on the way. The one with the same filter as this one. So I'm very very happy that I finally got another one of those cards. Because this one. I don't think I'm ever going to get the Bear Jin uh, card. But I still need to look for her other Japanese cards. But if I would start... With flip that on here. I would have the three versions over here. And then just one row up here. I joined a group order. And they are ordering through Makestar. So I have her Yojin's Makestar card on the way. I have three other members. Because there are four versions. But I can't remember which members I 
uh, claimed, but that's okay, that's fine. But I don't want to put it like that. I could... No. So, I had a different setup in mind. And I'm just gonna try it out. Also, I forgot that the Flip Dead album has a AR card. And I believe that's like photo card sized. I totally missed that somehow. I don't think I even looked at the um, album inclusions, like the album details for Flip Dead. Because I saw that the um, albums were the same same thing as all, as all their other albums. And that's expected from Luna. And that's what I really like about Luna. Because all of their albums on my shelf are looking amazing. But their photo card situation is not the best. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try out a spread layout. So I'm gonna take out these cards. And I'm not sure yet how I really wanted, want to do this. So this is her midnight set. And her uh, end set. And these are for her Japanese cards. Okay, so what I was thinking about, if you have two pages like this, to have the four versions like in the middle and then have two rows of like fillers. I think that would look cute. What I was also thinking about was like putting the three versions here and then the last one here. And then starting the next album like the same. So you have like the fillers are the backs from the next album. I'm not sure if I do like that. Wait, I'm gonna try out that. So we're gonna start. I'm not even sure if I'm making sense right now. But I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna start with the midnight. Oh, with the midnight album. The first version. Also the photo cards for the Flip Dead album are amazing. They all... Like, I've, I've not seen them, by the way, but the previews and everything, it's just so gorgeous. I am in love with these concepts. They look so gorgeous. They look like actual fairies. Also, the music video, I am obsessed. Okay, so... Like this. And then we're gonna start and on here. I really don't like that when they have a vertical card, they also make the back like vertical. Like, why would you do that? Just have them, let them have the same backs. So this is what look like this. Then I am gonna switch this out for just I, I know what it is, so I'm just gonna switch it out for a white filler. Do I like that? I'm not sure. Okay, no. Um I'm gonna Okay, so I know how this looks, and now I'm gonna get it out again and um, try out the other setup that I had in mind. Like just the four rows, like I will need more pages for that, but I'm not sure if I like this. So I'm gonna move this. Okay, I think I like this better. Just having one album and then have like a clear row. Okay, yes. I prefer this. So we're gonna do this with this next album as well. Also, I posted a um, photo of um, me waiting for my phone to charge on my uh, Instagram. And you could see the fillers uh, lying around uh, on my desk. 
and then a lottie from uh, sunflower you know that's that's it called right yes she like yeah me saying that it looks like i'm setting up for all of the uh, queendom groups and i was like it does look like that and honestly it is kind of like that the only thing i'm not setting up for today is like brave girls and yolin i think that's it and honestly i have been thinking about um buying some of the brave girls photo cards it's just they are not very easily um they're not very easy to get which is not that uh, fun but mm, i'm gonna put this on fun. but i would love to have like an ot4 set for some of for one or two albums or something like that i'm not sure yet i haven't really thought it through but Oh well. So this is it for the uh, end album. And then we have the Clip That album. So I need one more page. So yes. And then for this, um, I also just did um, one filler per row. Because honestly, I could not be bothered to make more. So this is just the way I'm gonna, oh wait, we have the AR card. So I'm gonna put the AR card next to the D version. And I have uh, her makester card on the way as well. So I think I'm gonna put it like here and then maybe I'll try and find another pre-order benefits. I have some, oh, wait. it's back. Like here, like from this is end, and this is also end era, I believe. So I'm just gonna grab these. And like put them here like this then maybe i'll try and find a last um like pre cards maybe maybe but this is it like this is the setup so i have the a version b c d and then the ar make star and then maybe Kate for you or something like that it depends it all depends i don't know what but it depends okay so that's luna let's go on to the next thing i changed my end mix collection i don't know if i've shown this but i'm now collecting lily heyon and soyun and i have this uh, heyon have i already have that one i'm still looking for that heyon and then this is complete and ready for a comeback but let's not say that because i don't have money for another comeback so yes then purple kiss i don't have anything i do have this last card on the way from neokyo i just gave and bought it on there instead of trying to trade because trading for purple kiss is hell so yes i do have some yellow cards on the way for the latest album but i haven't really been focusing on that and then we have a new section here, which is for Vivis, VVG. I'm not sure how you call it, but I've decided I'll just collect one full page um, of like photo cards. So I have like two photo cards and then the lenticular because one of my friends on Instagram was selling a Amji card and a Una lenticular for like very, very cheap. So I just was like, mm, maybe it's time to start this collection. So I did. And then I also looked up some photo cards on Neokyo. So I have a set from Sinbeast on the way from Neokyo. It's not her entire set, but it has like four photo cards. Uh, and I believe also her lenticular. So I love that. 
so let's see we have another which is the oldest and i have i have her lenticular am i doing this right so i want the lenticulars over here and the only one i don't have on the way is mg so wait I'm gonna switch this out and I'm gonna put this one also here. Then I have uh, Cindy's entire set on the way. And I have one of MG's photo cards. And still need the other one. So we're like over halfway done. And I'm not really sure what to do with the other uh, Cindy cards. I'm gonna put them here for uh, the time being. It's just it's just one card, but um, I really would love to have more of her cards because I think she's my bias in VVG. So I'm not sure yet what I will do, but for now I will just keep them um, in here. And while I was doing this, I realized I totally forgot about Luna's um, Japanese card. So where? am i gonna put those because they were released here like after end but before flip that but i don't want to add them here should i just like this is not my favorite card so should i just take this out and put this at the top and I put the two Japanese cards here, which is kind of messy, but um, do I care? <laughs> Not really. Like this. And it's still like in uh, the right order. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, this one like back uh, where it came from. is here so yes so now i have set up for everything uh, that i wanted in this binder so i do have some other things i want to show you and i want to talk about so we're gonna do that okay so the thing i wanted to talk about isn't uh, for a comeback or a setup it's just um some thoughts i've been having the um Last few weeks. So this is about weekly, as you can see. I put weekly in this collect book. And I am in love with this collect book. It's so sturdy and the pages are very good quality. And it's just so cute. So I ordered two more, which is not the point, but I did. So um, for weekly, I collect Suji and so on. And my weekly collection has been through a roller coaster. At first, I just collected one member, then OT7, then just two members, and OT7, then three members, then two members. I think that's the right way. I'm not sure if it is. I can't remember. But I'm still collecting two members, uh, Suji and so on, like I said. And I had them in my uh, bigger binder. Like my A4 binder that you just saw. I had them at the place where VVG is now um, located. I had them there before. But when uh, like Vampara got released. My love for collecting weekly slowed down. Like it got... How do you say it? I just want to say that my love for weekly did not... Like that did not change. The only thing that changed was... I was not excited to collect their cards for the new era. And that, that's... Totally okay. And I think that we should talk about that more in the trading and selling community. Like in the K-pop collecting community. Because on YouTube, here on YouTube, you see all of these people like me, like other channels, having these big collections. Like I know I have a lot of collections. And honestly, that stresses me out a lot of the time. And that's why you see me downsizing. That's why you see me giving up on collections or putting collections on a hold. And I think that's totally fine. And it's not something that we like to talk about because people always have opinions about someone else's stuff. 
And the same thing is happening with collections, like K-pop collections. Any collections, but we're talking about K-pop collections. So I myself have felt the need, the, the stress, the pressure to collect as much as possible for a lot of groups because uh, one K-pop company has just released a lot of stuff, just a lot, like from album photo cards to album versions to period benefits, video calls, stuff like that, merch items, everything. And that's just, if that isn't enough, we also have a lot of friends and not even friends, but just people we see on Instagram, on YouTube, on whatever platform you're on. We just see them having bigger collections, other collections. They have more stuff. They have different stuff. They have that one item that you really want or that you think you really want. And that's just messing with our heads, honestly. And if you want to collect something for a group, if you want to collect everything for a group, if you want to collect just two photo cards per member or just two photo cards per album, or just keep your pools, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's your collection and we really need to get back to that mindset. And with we, I also really, really mean me. <laughs> because being in this community as a K-pop collector, YouTuber and um, a group order manager and just on Instagram, it made me think that I had to have a very big collection because people were looking at it. So they were judging my collection and they were looking at my videos, watching my videos because of a certain collection. And I thought that they were wanting me to keep on collecting more things. I'm not sure if I'm like saying this right, but at this point I'm just saying what comes into my mind like I always do. But the point is that we need to start thinking again as our collection, as our own collection. Because this is mine. These are mine cards. And if I want to sell them, that's fine. If I want to cut them, that's fine. I won't. I know I won't. But if you want to, that's fine. If you want to collect just one member, please do. If you want to collect all of the members, please do. But don't go out and tell other people what they should do with their collections. Just let everyone collect in peace. And let everyone do what they want to do. With that entire thing being said, I changed some things in my weekly collection. So I still have um, all of the cards that I have before. I just put them in this collect book. So we have, uh, we are, we can. And then we play, I believe. And then we have play game holiday. And then we have the era where I was struggling a lot. Um, I was struggling with my uh, collection ideas, plans, and also with just trading in general. These are the pools I got from my group order manager. And seeing them in the big binder and having a lot of open spaces like fillers, it just messed with my head because I thought that I needed to find the other cards, even though I was not motivated at all to get the other cards. I was so stuck with my collection that I was thinking about just dropping my entire weekly collection because I just could not find the cards and I was not even motivated to look for them. So it's just, it was not nice. It was not pretty and I was very close to, to just dropping weekly. But then a few days ago, I've just decided to try out uh, and put them in this collect book. And for the other albums, it all works out perfectly because this has three um, photo cards per album. So it's, it makes for a perfect setup. So every album is, has like two pages. So for Vampara, I also had enough uh, photo cards to fill up two pages. Not everything is the same version. And honestly, I don't mind it because I adore these photo cards. I just did not want to look for the others. This is enough for me for this era. And these are like, um, I believe, Mixter pre-order cards. And that's everything that I have for this era. I know there are a lot more cards. They also have like a platform album or something like that. And a lot of pre-order benefits. And for me, my weekly collection is complete right now. I am ready for a next comeback. And for that comeback, I will probably, again, if it's possible, collect like one, two full pages, if that's possible. 
And I at the back I have some leftover. Uh, like these are pre-order benefits. And these as well. This is from the um, first anniversary. And then these are, I believe, these are album cards. And this is also pre-order benefits from the latest era. And um, I just really love them. Could not give them up at this point. But um, yes, I keep them in at the back. And I do have some room for some more comebacks. So yes, I just wanted to get this off my chest, honestly. And I just wanted to remind you all that it's okay to change stuff. It's okay to change your collection if you're not happy with it. Sometimes it's exactly what you need to get excited again. Just like uh, I did with Weekly. And actually just like I did with... Uh, collecting OT9 twice when I downsize that to just again three members it makes a huge difference and honestly it's my collection I can do with it whatever I want and I really want some people to remember that and not to stress too much about what other people are thinking about it so yes thank you for coming to my TED talk oh my god <laughs> Then we have another collect book, and this one is going to be a lot shorter, I promise you. So this is a collect book I got from Shine. It came dented, so I'm not really the biggest fan of this, because it's not as sturdy as the last one. It is very cute, though. It has a tiger on the back, guys. Oh my god. But um, like I said, I ordered some more of I ordered some more of these, so I will put these, these cards in the, when, in the other collect books when they arrive. But in here I have my Bugaboo collection because I saw some of my I saw a friend of mine on Instagram doing this with their Bugaboo collection and I really like that. So for Bugaboo I collect a Rainy and Zin. I really hope I pronounced those right. So I have their cards for their uh, first album complete. So these are the lenticulars and I also added the business cards from uh, Heo Nice here on youtube because she kindly gifted me like almost all of these cards there was just one rainy card that she did not have and she even was said she was sorry that she could not give me that card like sophie honestly you provided me my bugaboo collection this is insane so bugaboo had a comeback and i joined a group order just this morning from uh sophie from hey and Ice, uh, for the make star cards because those are gorgeous like actually gorgeous so very excited to see how this will grow i will probably like push these back whenever they whenever i have the other photo cards but for now i just have my small bugaboo collection in here yes still need to like actually look into bugaboo like sophie don't kill me for that but i still need to but yes update on that then i have one last thing to talk about and that is the Enhypen comeback. And I put Enhypen and the boys uh, in this uh, binder because my uh, Dino binder was getting too full. So I just took them out and put them in their own binder. So let's talk about this. I'm not going to set up for it. What I'm going to do is I finally have this card on the way. Y'all, I cannot believe it. I went on a little like uh, search for some j cards so these pages are will be complete then i have to check because i have some more cards so i have some more cards on the way and i have these two on the way like i just had the motivation to work on this collection even though this is not like a high priority at all then i have also had this one on the way so it's not a lot of progress but it's still progress so yes then for the comeback um i'm not gonna set up for it because i'm not really sure about my uh, actual collection plans but at this moment i'm thinking about just collecting jay for the comeback and not collecting hisang because this is not a high priority collection at all, like I said. And I do really enjoy the uh, two uh, member layout. But I feel like Jay is higher on my bias list than Hisung is. If you would ask me at the start of this collection, it would be the other way around. But it switched, which is totally fine. So I think I'm just gonna collect uh, Jay for the 
this upcoming comeback but we shall see what will actually happen when that comeback happens but yes that's it for those collection plans and then i remembered one thing that is that i have one of these cards are on the way so i'm just gonna put this in like this so yes um i talked about all of the groups i wanted to talk about i did not talk about itzy even though itzy is having a comeback like i said um, i'm hosting a lot of group orders for those i want to make a separate video um, i'm not sure yet if it's just gonna be setting up for itzy or if it will be like a mitzy vlog thing i'm not sure yet i haven't figured it out but for now this is everything i wanted to talk about and i think it's enough because i've been filming for 15 minutes and my phone is about to die so i think i talked about everything on my list yes i did so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you want to sh if you want to share something with me just put it in the comments and i would love to respond to it and i hope to see you next time bye